Hi and welcome back to the Bad Back Gardener. My name is Kevin and I am the Bad Back Gardener. In today's episode we are going to be collecting uh, some spring seeds. Here, these, are, these here are some of the uh, plants that I've overwintered in my garage. Uh, they're tropical plants. They would not survive outside in my neck of the woods for the winter time so I bring them in the garage to try and hold them over till spring. Uh, they die back some but uh, hopefully that gives them a, a stronger start in the spring and I can keep them going and coming back here year after year. Now if you, you may or may have not seen um, me, my Dracenia which I do have a lot of them that I managed to overwinter. Uh, they've, I've always had real good luck with them and I've had have some that are taller than me now and uh, that are growing but this year I did some elephant ears which they seem to be surviving uh, they're not they're still putting out leaves very slowly but uh, they have not died off yet uh, this is a cantaloupe leaf which has died back but yet still has some green growing inside it here and that's one of the things I'm going to try and uh, save some of the seeds from I have some profusion zinnias that I'm going to save some seeds from and then I'm going to grab some marigold seeds which I can save and replant at a later time also uh, I've actually already harvested them some of them this spring and put them in a pot and they've, they've uh, grown you may have seen them in the video previous videos but uh, they've already grown back too so we're going to save save some seeds here and uh, we'll show you that All right, so we're going to get started here with the canna lilies first. We're going to collect some seeds off of those. I'm just going to break that off there. And then as you can see here, these, if you break these open here, there's the black seeds right there. In them and that's what I'm going to collect off of these each each little pod here has either one or two black seeds try not to drop them on the ground so there's what we're looking at so I'm going to go through and collect as much of those as I can get here from the seeds and then I'm going to put them in little bottle here so I can collect them keep them in a the little bottle and I dried out the bottles real good so they don't have any moisture in them so I'll go through and collect some of those second seed I'm going to show you here is uh, from my perfusion zinnias and uh, they're over here And they are in various shapes, but what you want to get out of here, so you got these white, the white flakes, but it's the gray ones with the little spikes on, two spikes on the bottom. That's what we're looking for, and that's what I'm going to collect off of the profusion zinnias. Each one of these little, little seeds right there is what I'm going to collect from those and see if they grow from profusion zinnias. I'll get a bunch of those and then the third one I'm going to collect is over here in the garden so I'll take you over there. Okay, so I've collected my seeds. Here's what I ended up with. Uh, these are the marigold seeds. You can see there's quite a few in there. Marigolds. 
and then the profusion zinnias. I tried to uh, thin them out and get rid of as much as the debris as possible, but a lot of little gray seeds in there. Uh, there's some some of the white coverings and stuff from the seeds still left in there, but when I go to plant them, uh, I can get rid of that stuff. So, but there's quite a few seeds in there, I'm sure. There's probably about a thousand seeds in there. And then probably about a hundred seeds or so of the canna lilies. You can see there, collected those. So that's my seed collecting video here. Thanks for watching. Catch up with me on Facebook. You can also email me at bbgardener at zoominternet.net. And as always, if your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.